All right, so to start off, you want to create a new input action. So go to your third person and your input. Go to actions and right click and go to input right here. Input action and call this IA dash. It should already be set as a bool. So just open it up and double check that there's a boolean right here and close that. Go back to your inputs and open up the IMC default. Expand this little mapping right here. Click the plus. The new drop down that says none. Click this. Add your dash in. And you can either select your key or your input right here. Or you can press the button right here and just click the key. For the trigger, you want to click the add and search for press right here. And we do not need any modifiers for this. Just save and we can close out of this. So now open up your character. And inside of here we want to use our dash. So right click and search for dash. And put action dash. The one with the little arrow next to it. And typically whenever there's an event going on. You want a variable to you know determine if the event is on. So just add a variable called is dashing. And keep it a boolean. Drag is dashing out like that get is dashing hold down b and left click it'll add a branch and on triggered connect that up and then connect up is dashing off of the false branch what you want to do is drag up is dashing and just connect it to the false pin right there and set it to true then you want to drag off of is dashing and do launch character right here and then before we set up anything on this, let's real quick just add a delay. And then at the end down here, you can copy your is dashing right here and paste it. And we are going to set this to false. And the delay, it's going to be like your cooldown. And you can set this to like one second. And so what this does is it checks if we're dashing. And this branch right here. Is just so you can't spam the dash while you are dashing. Alright, so now to set up the launch character, you want to right click launch velocity, split struck pin, right click and do get velocity. This will get the current velocity of our character, like the direction it's traveling and stuff like that. And you want to right click this and, or actually drag off of this and do a multiply. And right click this, convert pin, and you want to convert it to a float like that. And this you can multiply by however far you want to launch the character. I'm just going to say probably like 10 or maybe 15, probably 10, just for a simple short dash. But again, you can customize that value. And then what you want to do is split this once again and you want to drag the y into the y and drag the x into the x the reason we don't use the z is because that determines like if you're jumping or whatever you don't want to launch the character up as well you just want the x and y axis so now we are almost done we just have to change a couple of things in the character movement and inside here you want to come over here and Uncheck the use separate friction right there. And if you scroll down in the falling lateral friction right here, set this to about five. Compile and save, and we can test it out. As you can see, I can run around and I can jump. And then if I do the dash, I get a little speed boost like that. I can jump and dash. And yeah, just to show you real quick, this custom value. See how I could not spam it right there? If I set this to like 0.5 and then I set this to maybe like 20, you can see how I can dash more frequently. Press play. As you can see, the dash is much quicker and it goes way further. Alright, so yeah, that was how to do a simple dash in Unreal Engine. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.